we gonna get right into it and I'm gonna expound upon it. The Davis family, Al Davis and Mark now, Al past. But like, we've talked to people in the past about um, the Joan with Jerry and them being, the right. owner being so much involved. You were a part of that where Al was, Al was drafting people just like Jerry was drafting people. Is that good for organization? With what you saw in, in the GM, the owner, it's, it overlaps. I think it was good early on for Al because, you know, Al made a lot of decisions that at that time, you know, Al wanted, um, he wanted speed. He wanted somebody that could chuck that ball down the field and he wanted to play man to man. And during those times, it was, it was great because you can just put athlete on athlete out there, man, and I'm just going to beat you. I'm faster than you. I can outrun you and I'm just going to lock your guys down. And he got three championships out of it. But the game. Let me just say this. <laughs> Jerry Jones got three championships as well. One can argue that the first two was all Jimmy Johnson and that was Jimmy Johnson with that particular team. And then uh, the, the, the last one was Jerry. But when the truth came about, everybody knew that all three of those rings basically was Jimmy Johnson and the way he kind of put things together. Now, granted, Jimmy Johnson did say that Jerry Jones is not a football guy, and that's a whole nother conversation. Nevertheless, listen to what my guy had to say. Game changes. Mm -hmm. Offenses are, are a little bit more creative nowadays, and so you can't just do things a certain way. You can't draft players a certain way. Mm -hmm. And so I think that time passed them. And so in terms of uh, Jerry, you know, it, it's – I, I actually love Jerry because he, he going he gonna to give you some good stuff every week. <laughs> but <laughs> for him to be right after the game with a press conference, and then Monday morning he got another uh, radio, he just give you gems all the time. But I think <laughs> in terms of him and, and uh, the hand that he has over the organization, I think it handicaps your coach. He ain't lying and he's the GM, so, I mean, he's going to be able to do whatever he wants to, but your coach is really, he's got his hands tied behind his back because he can't necessarily move the way he wants to because Mike McCarthy might come out and say something today and tomorrow. Jerry going to be like, ah, oh, you know, well, we think this. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, well, wait a minute, Mike, Mike just said this yesterday. Uh, uh, but you got to go with whatever Jerry say because he's, he's the man, Jerry. you know what I mean? So I think in terms of, um, you know, the coaches and the staff really having the freedom to – put their fingerprints on everything, it, 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 it handicaps them. Owner operator. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. So we were talking about this just the other day about how much Jerry Jones influences really are. And it, it really hinders this particular team, although he may have great intentions and he may, from his mindset, think that, hey, what he's doing will work or what have you. And he have the ultimate decision to make everything goes. But now it's not just Jerry, it's Stephen Jones who got his hands in the mix. And then there's Will McClay. So uh, when the whole argument came about who's better, Will McClay or Howie, uh, when we was talking to the Eagles uh, content creator, Lord Bronson and Joe, this is what us being eight and three versus Philly, 11 and two versus Johnson, nine and two versus the commander. Did you know what it really mean to me? Will McClay wow. is better than Howard. Stop it. Ooh, he, See that? How you oh going to tell me? Oh, my God. Oh, no, so y'all want to. Oh, 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 yeah. I said what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. See, hold on real quick. I said what I No, 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 no. I let everybody cook. I ain't say nothing did I let everybody get their points out. Let me just make my case. And then here we go. I can't wait. See, because this the deal. This the deal. The person that builds teams better in the division is will mcclay and he better than howard because he also do it with his hand tied behind his back meaning he got to deal with the meddling of jerry and steven and yet we still own philly we still own the giants and we still own the command they are not aware of how many channels will mcclay got to go through in order to make one decision he got to ultimately sell it to Stephen Jones and also sell his decision to Jerry Jones. And on top of that, you have two different philosophy. Jerry Jones may be the guy who's willing 
to make the moves, but then you have Stephen Jones that's going to come in financially and say, no, there's always good checks and balances within organizations, right? But at times, you're going to have to be that person to make the decision and stand on it. And we don't have that guy because there's too many hands in the pot. Now, Howie, when he sees something and he wants something, he can jump right on it and grab it and take it. And, hey, and he can stand on it. If it don't go through, then it don't go through. But he is at the mercy seat of getting fired. There's no threat of being fired over here in Cowboys land. Stephen Jones would never get fired. Jerry Jones would never get fired. Even with the aspect of Will McClay being in the building, he can be the person that falls on the sword, but it will ultimately be their decision to get rid of him. They're not going to cut their legs off from under their feet because he's the guy that's really doing all of the hard work. He is the guy that's really doing all of the real, real evaluation. Now, granted, the Cowboys do have a strong team. I'm not going to take that away from them. Chris Hall does a great job, and the whole, the whole team works together. But sometimes you need one voice to be able to go out there and make the final decision. And the Cowboys been put into that place, whereas I'm going to be earnest with y'all. Will McClay doing all of the wrong things for the right reasons, especially being the guy that saved Jerry Jones. Hey, you can't get me to work the job without the title. Will McClay. You're supposed to be the GM, right? But it's Jerry Jones' spot. And hey, who handles the financial spot? Oh, that's Stephen Jones. I'm going to just say this. At the end of the day, we don't like this team. We love this team. Go Cowboys all day, every day. But the reality of it is that we have a meddling owner who always going to have his hands on it, which will handicap it. And on top of that, just like my guy Charles Woodson said, it also hinders the coach because the coaching staff don't know who to really listen to. If Stephen Jones says something, do you really take that as a grain of salt? Versus what Jerry Jones say. So it's always that tug of war type of battle. And you got too many bosses that's in your room. It's never going to lead the right way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hey, we, we can be optimistic about this team, but those are the realities of it. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.